Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Molson here, and we are back with a brand new Skyrim video series. This is part one in the quest to get every single Dragon Priest mask in the game. So, as you can see, we're at Tundra Homestead. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and head inside here. And as you can see in the basement, uh, as part of this house, there is a whole collection uh, where you can... Uh, store all the dragon priest masks in the game so as you can see there's a special spot for each uh, dragon priest which i think is really cool i think it's a really cool addition uh you just get this with the anniversary edition which came out uh just last year but today we are going to be getting uh four of these masks and we're going to be starting with hevnorak uh, i believe that's how you say it i'm probably wrong but for this guy we had to head to the eastern part of Skyrim, uh, at the border, uh, just south of Markov. And yeah, we traveled here. I traveled to a nearby cave, because uh, I hadn't discovered this place yet. And uh, yeah, uh, we headed towards it. I ran into a pesky witch, uh, which I made quick work of. Uh, and yeah, we entered the uh, crypt, which is called uh, Valsium, I believe. Val Valsium. As we head into the ruin, we meet this guy called Valdar. Now, Valdar is he's some sort of ethereal being, and um, basically he has been he's sworn to protect um, this dragon priest. Well, not protect him, but make sure that he doesn't get free. And uh, you know, and he explains to us that the dragon priest is trying to get free and um, terrorize the land or whatever. But um, he is sick of waiting. He doesn't like it. So he asks us if we can resurrect him and then just take care of him ourselves so he can finally rest. So talking to him, uh, he gives us this quest, Evil in Waiting. And basically what he wants us to do is uh, we need to get these three vessels. We then delve into the ruins uh, in order to find these vessels. Now the first one uh, I did find fairly quickly. Uh, as I was going through, I saw his your kind of basic... Nordic ruin. Uh, there was a few, well, there was quite a few dragger, uh, lots of burial lands. So you know, I spent my time collecting all the money that there was in them. Eventually, I did happen upon the first vessel. Uh, it was guarded by this one uh, dragger death lord, and uh, you'll come to see that all of the different vessels are guarded by dragger death lords. Uh, this guy was fairly easy. I'd actually been playing on survival mode before, and um, uh, for the purposes of this video, I'd switched it to normal mode, and I kind of felt <laughs> I felt pretty invincible. Um, kind of, I took this guy out pretty quickly, made quick work of them. And as you can see, the vessels are literally just um, they're literally just bottles. And uh, I do have Serana and Lucian Luchance, the uh, spectral ghost of Lucian Luchance, with me. But uh, honestly, they were <laughs> they weren't too much help because they kept. <laughs> showing up late for every fight as you can see here but anyway we collected the first vessel and after we did i got a little loss uh it makes you collect them in order and i couldn't really see where exactly the other two were it makes you collect one by one so i did get a little lost and i kind of <laughs> i went too far forward and then i went back but eventually i did happen upon the second one the second one much like the first one was guarded by another dragger death lord um and as you can see when i did uh come to him i shouted at him and i accidentally knocked the vessel off the table that it was standing on um so as you can see uh after i defeated him i had to eventually like uh unrelenting force kind of shout the vessel from behind this little crevice that i had knocked it down but yep uh that was the second one collected and then to get to the third one here I had to use this iron claw um, and I had to use there's the basic Skyrim kind of claw gate contraption um, and once I came through here the third one was the hardest one to get uh, I did really need Serana's help here as uh, there were two death lords in this one uh, in fact those death lords scattered all over the place but this one particularly was guarded by two death lords and yeah I <laughs> I got a bit too confident and I didn't want to lose any potions because uh, I, I really wanted to save those for the actual dragon priests. So I, I had to retreat and heal up a little bit but then eventually I did come back 
and I got that third vessel. Also here, uh, there's a, a word wall uh, where you can learn a shout. Uh, this is uh, it's called Hunt or Whisper. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've ever, as I said, I don't think I've done this quest before. So I don't think I've ever collected this particular uh, word before. After this, we return to Valdar. We tell him we have all the vessels and he instructs us to pour the vessels into this altar, kind of uh, on this little stage. And then he instructs us to sit on the throne and the dragon piece should arise. So we do this. And yep, he you see the lightning flash, and then he arises. And yeah, straight away I dragon shout at him. I sprint towards him, and I I just start swinging like a madman. I wasn't very technical with this one. I'm gonna try to be more technical with the next ones here. But um, yeah, I wasn't as technical on this one, and I ended up having to drink a couple of potions. Uh, but yeah, I was just going ham on him. But uh, the upside was. That this battle did end pretty quick and yeah i defeat it wasn't too hard honestly I, I wish i'd been more technical about it so we go back and speak to valdar he thanks us for what we've done and he says feel free to take the mask so he also has this staff which uh creates like a wall of lightning and does like 50 shot damage but yeah we get what we really came for his mask which makes you immune to diseases and poison which is, is pretty neat uh could be useful for fighting vampires i find every time i fight vampires i contract vampirism or there's a lot of times where all of a sudden you have this damn disease especially uh if you play on survival mode so as you can see uh we head back to the tundra homestead uh we give the, the courier comes up to me and he bothers me but uh yeah we go lay him up on the display and yeah we're one down so next up is otar from the dragon priest otar the mad he can be found in the ruins of ragnarvold northeast of markarth kind of around this area here now this journey was a particularly treacherous one <laughs> as soon as i fast traveled i was immediately ambushed by some forsworn though Little did I know this was going to be the least of my problems. Uh, as I made for the temple, I heard that dreaded sound. Who's there? And uh, shit, <laughs> shit went a little sideways. I decided to let Serana deal with it, and I ran off. Though uh, this dragon really had my number, he continued to pursue me. Eventually, I did reach Ragnarvold, and uh, <laughs> the dragon was still with me, so I finally dealt with him. And uh, it, this dude really seemed to have a death wish because he, he just continually kept coming after me even after I'd ran away like five times. So as I entered the ruin, I was already pretty weakened uh, from all the shenanigans that befalled me on the way. Uh, anyways, here me and the team recouped uh, Serana and Lucian Luchance once again and we then decided to head deeper in. After dealing with some pesky Duragol, we eventually came to this main chamber in the ruins. Now, in here, the coffin of Otar the Mad, the Dragon Priest, uh, was in here. But, uh, though, as you can see right now, I didn't realize at the time, as I had not actually got the mask before in a previous playthrough, because I I'm not really one to just enter random ruins for that reason, and there's no quest line particularly linked to this mask. So, I left the chamber and entered the Ragnarvold Canal section of the tomb. And here I found this Torsten skull key, which at the time I didn't realize its importance. Though as I took it, the skull's guardian and a few of his buddies arose. And I realized here that maybe the skull was needed in some way or another. I returned to the main crypt and it finally hit me on how this all worked. So uh, I put the skull in and then I delved into the nearby crypts uh, in search for the second skull. After sneaking around the crypts, I grabbed the other skull key and made quick work of its guardian, and now it was time. I summoned the spectral assassin and gazed at Otar before I finally got the guts to activate him with the final skull key. As the crypt unlocked, uh, Otar rose once again. As soon as he rose, I shouted at him, but this unfortunately did nothing, as I had shouted a little too soon. Uh, with this, I panicked and <laughs> went back to my tried and tested method of just running in and swinging at him. Uh, he then also summoned some stone atronachs 
and uh, flashing lightning everywhere with his staff. Uh, but me and Lucian of Chance uh, eventually did get the better of him, though I did have to be <laughs> supplemented by a couple of potions. But um, yeah, I did get the better of him, though I was a little worse for wear. Now, Otar did actually have the same stuff as Havnarak, uh, the one that creates the sparkle. And now I think about it, I think most Dragon Priests actually have this. Um, and then obviously, he also had his mask, uh, just simply called Otar. And it, you know, it, it's not the best one. But obviously, he is one of the easier Dragon Priests. It just gives the player a 30% increase in uh, resistance to fire, shock, and frost damage. Killing him also unlocked the back part of the ruin, uh, which had a word wall where you could learn part of the Kind's Peace Shout, which gives you the ability to soothe wild beasts uh, from attacking you. I also checked out the shout we had previously got uh, from Havnarak, uh, which allows you to detect life. Now here I realised the video was getting a little long and that 4 was a little ambitious as I was trying to keep these videos fairly short and sweet, so I just decided 2 was enough for one day, uh, and plus I also got lost on my way out. I finally returned home and put our mask on display and sat down to drink a little mead. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe if you would care to as these types of videos do take quite a while to create. And stay tuned for the next part of this series. Bye bye.